feel like I need some old-timey burlesque music. <laughs> look like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Oops, I did it. So as you possibly may have noticed, something's a little different. I may have done something. <laughs> you see, due to the lack of control over some things in my life, I have dyed my hair. <laughs> I gone done did it. As of filming this video, I've only had this hair for two days now, and I really have not been able to style it the way that I usually style it yet. So that's what we're doing today. It feels so silly to be doing like a hair reveal. Honestly, a lot of this video is just for me because I just want to see what it looks like when it's curled, um, and I'm just on it. I'm just taking you along for the ride. A couple things before we get started. It's not permanent. <laughs> Not that I feel like I need to explain this, but I also feel like I need to explain this. It's only demi-permanent, so in a couple months, I should be back to red. It's just a couple months of trying something new. Number two, my red hair wasn't even real, so. For all those who are, you know, adamantly against people dyeing their red hair because it's so rare, that was also fake. Number three, this video is sponsored by Brooklinen. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later um, because honestly, I feel like I at least need eyebrows. I think that's about it. We're just gonna sit down and um, do a little get ready with me. I started using a few different new products and also have to do some things different because my hair is different now. So we're just gonna go on that little journey. Eh, I don't know if this will be interesting, but you know, if you like some chatty videos, I figured I could also talk about what's happening with all my like home reno stuff. I feel like a lot of stuff is happening at once. So kind of my plans for home renovation in the near future and just, just chat about life. So if you have some coffee or tea, grab a blankie and your favorite house pet. Okay. I've already put on a little bit of foundation because, woof. <laughs> I've been trying a new foundation, which is one size, Patrick Starr's brand. Before that, I'd been using Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation for years, mostly because I get stressed out with foundation and it's really hard to order online and like match your shade. It really made my skin kind of dry. I'm trying this out, I'm really, really liking it so far. Not sponsored or PR'd, I bought this myself. And it's very powdery and very soft because my pores are quite large. I need something that like kind of smooths it out and that's what this does. I figured that at the end of this, um, maybe I could just try on a few different outfits, do my best 80s movie shopping montage, get your judgmental faces of either disapproval or approval ready. So <laughs> look forward to that and do some brows. So normally I use NYX Fill and Fluff in taupe as a base, and then I go in with ash brown to fill in like the tails. But because my hair is darker now, I think I'm just gonna skip the taupe and go right for ash brown. And then look out, I have also a NYX Lift and Snatch brow tint pen. So this is in black. So I'm gonna, you know, add some like individual hairs there and darken it up a little bit. Let's do it. I need like all my concentration for this, but I'm also going to try to hold a conversation. Honestly, I am kind of terrified to post this on the internet. I have been wanting to try dark hair for a really long time. It's so dumb, but I was kind of afraid of people's reactions, which is so silly because it's my hair. I don't know. I figured demi-permanent would be a good solution to that because it's going to go back to what it was in a couple months and it's not permanent. They can only be so mean because it's not like I'm changing it forever. But on that same note, that's silly. You shouldn't follow someone just for their hair. <laughs> Look, okay, we're just having some fun. I see everybody else switch hair colors and have so much fun with it and I never felt like I could because I'm a wuss. <sighs> Made a sort of eyebrow shape. I'm gonna go in with the little brush part and just buff this out. I'm sensitive and I'm fragile <laughs> and I'm scared. That's silly and as long as I like it, that's all that matters. I figured another plus of demi-permanent is that between this really dark color and then going back to red, I could kind of have 
ideally every shade in between. So thinking maybe I'll have an Eevee era, which honestly, I would also be lying if a big pull to do this wasn't thinking of all the different cosplays I could do without a wig. I feel like that looks okay in the mirror and then I look in the, the camera screen and it's a little jarring. I look like Mr. Bean. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Going for like a thick Audrey brow. <laughs> Not sure that I'm very successful with that. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Those are pointing in two totally different directions. I'm making it worse. <laughs> Cousins, not sisters. Okay. I've been going in with a brown liquid liner, doing almost a cat eye, but on the bottom. They did this for Rachel White's in The Mummy, so. Silly me, I know I can't talk and do a liner at the same time. Hold, please. Like that. Hi. Oh, very close. I don't know. I just feel like it's like a nice way to like fake my eye shape because I'm not like super crazy about my natural eye shape. Now that I have some semblance of facial features here, like I said, this video is sponsored. Let's journey forth to my bedroom, which also could be a pickup line in medieval times. Hello. So yes, this video is sponsored by Brooklinen. While focusing on bedding and sheets and linens, they also have other home essentials and even a loungewear line. And just for you guys, they are offering $20 off of your order of $100 or more if you use the code MAXI. As you can see, this room is definitely not my priority right now. I feel like the bedroom is usually one of the last rooms for us to fix up when it comes to a new house. So I was really, really excited that they reached out again for this. Zhuzh up this room a little bit and actually make it look kind of fancy. So I'm gonna go get my box and then we can transform this bed. <laughs> She's heavy. All right, so here's the box. They sell you the items without that middleman, so you're able to get really, really luxury stuff for not a crazy price point. Honestly, the older I get, the more I'm realizing I need to put more priority into my bed and being comfortable at night. Just, I don't know, I really love sleeping in Brooklyn and sheets. It feels like I'm at a hotel. So I'm dying to see what this bed looks like with the new sheets. So let's give it a try. <laughs> much better. So this time around, I went with their linen collection. This bundle came with core sheet set, the duvet cover, and extra pillowcases. The process itself of buying the sheets is pretty fun because they have over 20 different patterns and designs that you can choose from and you can mix and match. Thank you so much, Brooklyn, for sponsoring this video. Once again, if you guys want to, sh want to shave, if you want to save $20 off of your order of $100 or more, make sure you click the link in the description and use the code MAXI. Without further ado, let's continue on putting stuff on my face. All right, let's get back to it. Today is just going by so friggin' fast. It's already three o'clock. Excuse me? So I'm so sorry. My brain is just gloop right now. My brain cells have been preoccupied elsewhere. <laughs> Our kitchen. Last week, we had contractors working on tearing out some of the walls in the kitchen because it was just really weirdly set up. It was really, really hard to squeeze by and did not make any sense. And it made the kitchen congested and I, I just, I found myself hating going in there. Deleted one of the closets and then they made an archway into the fireplace room. It's so much better. So much room now. And I like that I can actually see parts of the house from the kitchen because before it was like really, really sectioned off. We plan to have holidays here and host here. So it just makes sense that there's kind of a circular loop that people can do access the kitchen and stuff. That's been really nice and really expensive. It's fine. This is our forever home. 
this is our forever home. And then on top of that, let's do some lipstick. I don't know how I'm gonna talk and do this at the same time, but we're gonna give it a shot. We just ordered our basically our whole kitchen from Ikea. It's really nice to get that out of the way. We used their kitchen planner program, which sort of worked once we got the hang of it. I had to escort Nick off of the reins for that one because he was getting really frustrated. But once we figured it out, it was fine. This is our design that we came up with. I was expecting things not to come in for months. I thought we had at least a month to prepare. We're gonna do the kitchen all ourselves. So we're gonna demo the old one, rip everything out of there, try to do tiles ourselves, paint the room. Yeah, we, yeah. I seem to always get lipstick questions too. So this is Beauty Bakery and this is a lip whip in uh, Mon Cherie. I was also expecting them to be out of stock for a lot of things, because I've heard that's kind of a little bit of a struggle when you get an Ikea kitchen, but they were only out of three things, which is good. We ordered it and the guy was like, it can be shipped to you in two days, which we were not prepared for or not ready for. So right now all of that Ikea stuff is just sitting on the other side of our kitchen. <laughs> and I guess we have to start thinking about doing that soon, so. My brain is mush, basically. But I'm excited, it'll be fun. I think it's time. There we go. I feel like I need some old-timey burlesque music. <laughs> okay. I have not seen it curled or anything yet. Oh my god. Also, I've been using cozy curlers a lot lately. I feel like when I was doing my foam rollers, the curl was just a little too tight. As my hair was getting longer and I have layers in there, it was just looking really weird. So I switched back to cozy curlers. A much better relaxed curl. That's just kind of what I'm feeling right now. Ow. Also feeling pain. I'm very nervous. There you go. This helps me feel a little bit more like me, I think. How'd you like? I don't know. Are you ready for an outfit montage? Cause it's coming for ya. Here we go. Montage. Well, that's about it. Uh, did this feel like a completely pointless video? Yeah. I just wanted to see what my hair would look like. I just, I felt like I might as well make it into a video. I don't know, hopefully it was um, relatively fun to watch. I'm back to making stuff for the next few weeks. Just wanted to take a little chit chatty break and I felt like if I didn't acknowledge or announce that I dyed my hair, then some people would be very confused. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think in some ways it's hard to get used to, but in then other ways, my brain immediately was like, okay. I think it'll be fun to see over the next couple months, the range of hair color that I'm gonna go through and just try to play with that and, and try to style it different ways. Again, it feels so silly to do like a hair reveal video because I don't ultimately think it's all that important, but yeah, yeah, okay. I also think it'll be quite nice to escape the inevitable, is that your real hair color from strangers out and about. I get that red hair is like a rare gene, but people are nosy. <laughs> they gotta know. 
Nobody's gonna ask me if this is my real hair color and I don't have to say, no, it's fake. I have entered my Mr. Darcy phase. Okay, that's enough. Thank you so much, Brooklinen, for sponsoring this video. Again, they are offering you guys $20 off your order of $100 or more if you use the code MAXI. That's it from me, y'all. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. As of watching, as of watching, this time around, I focused on their Brooklyn and, oh my God. The difference between like the cheapest of cheap, sh sh <laughs> That was good. Tina, good food. That's underwhelming. Guess they don't want any food. Hey, my children. Hey, baby. Come to Pemberley. Baby.